All right, so I've been programming the Netduino uh, with C Sharp for a while, and um, it was just kind of painful. Um, I I stuck with it as long as I could. Uh, C Sharp isn't um, extremely forgiving. I finally downloaded the uh, Visual Basic uh, uh, Microsoft uh, Visual Studio, and it's really been a dream since then. Not only is my development a lot more rapid, but I, for some reason I'm having a lot less bugs. It might just be a personal thing, but um, uh, with my C Sharp I was getting blue screens of death all the time. Obviously um, a big problem with going to Visual Basic is when you go to the forums, the Netduino forums. 98% uh, of the guys on the forums are C Sharp guys. But um, I'm hoping to help you with some tutorials, um, show you that uh, it's nothing to be scared of. In fact, you might really like programming the Netduino with VB. It's pretty cool. Alright, what do you need? Um, well, you're going to need to flash your Netduino, and you need at least version 4.2 of the firmware. I have another video that might help you out if uh, you've never done that before. Um, and then, of course, you're going to need version 4.2 of the .NET Micro Framework, along with version 4.2 of the Netduino SDK. So, if we go to Google, I just typed, typed in .NET Micro Framework 4.2 download. The first item up here is the one that worked. Um, initially, I downloaded a little bit older one that didn't really work for me, but... Uh, I think this is all kind of still in beta. There's still different releases of it coming out. So obviously this is all subject to change. You know, a month after I do this video, we'll be on to another version or something. But for now, what I have to do is get this 4.2 runtime and this QFE1 um, was important. Uh, I was having trouble with the VB support working and then I find, found somewhere where they said, oh, get QFE1. And so I downloaded this one, and it worked. If you already have version 4.1 installed, you're going to go to Add Remove uh, Programs. Go ahead and get rid of it. And then here you can see I've already in installed this 4.2. Um, and then, of course, you're also going to need to get into the Netduino you'll uninstall your 4.1 SDK and um, install the 4.2 SDK which uh, I've now found they have on the Netduino download tab um, here again I'm sure <laughs> in a month or two there'll be something else going on and it might not be here so you can always go to the forum kind of hunt it down uh, under Netduino this beta firmware uh, section. And of course down here in VB support uh, you'll get uh, some information on VB stuff um, working or not. So.